Have you ever heard the phrase, Judge, he's badgering the witness? You want to know what that means and how it applies in a case here in New York? Come join me for a moment as I show you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. This typically occurs during cross-examination. The opposing attorney is questioning my witness. And now he keeps hammering over and over and over similar questions. Or he has rapid-fire machine gun style questions. Mr. Jones, tell me about this. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. And now you can feel the tension in the courtroom. It's palpable. You can cut it with a knife. But there may come a time where the witness begins to break down. He doesn't know the answer. He's trying to answer. And the attorney keeps hammering over and over and over again. I have an obligation to stand up and yell, Judge, he's badgering my witness. What am I really saying? I'm trying to say, hey, Judge, how about a little help here? My witness is getting pummeled and you're doing nothing to interrupt this. So now I stand up, I yell, Judge, objection. The defense attorney is badgering my witness. And now the judge will likely turn to the defense attorney and say, Counselor, move on, you made your point. That's what typically happens. An attorney who has to constantly ask the judge for help to control a witness or to control the defense attorney shows a bit of weakness. And in reality, you'll find that the best trial lawyers in New York are ones who try not to make many objections. But there will come a time where you have no choice. The defense attorney is doing something so outrageous. You have no choice but to stand up and object. And it's going to highlight that issue. But in certain circumstances, you have no choice. So you stand up and you can't stand the fact that your client is getting hammered. But let's say it's an 80-year-old lady. It's a grandma who's on the witness stand. Imagine if the defense attorney starts to pound this witness by having rapid-fire questions. Grandma, answer the question. Answer it. Answer it. Answer it. And guess what? I'm not going to object. You want to know why? It's because the jury's going to see right through what this guy is doing. They're going to feel bad for grandma, who's got to endure this horrible cross-examination by this attorney who doesn't realize that he's generating sympathy for my client. So it makes a huge bit of difference as to who is on the witness stand. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on in a civil lawsuit involving a trial here in New York. You know, I understand you're watching this video because you likely have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit, but you have questions that need answers first, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.